Hi, I'm Christina, and welcome to Kriska Yoga. Today, I will be sharing a 10-minute beginner's Hatha Yoga sequence. This is a very simplistic, easy-to-follow beginner's routine. If you're a complete beginner, I suggest you head over to my Yoga for Complete Beginners class. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss out on my free weekly yoga videos. So, if you're ready, grab your yoga mat and let's get started. Begin by lying flat on your back. You can relax your limbs to start. Place your hands down by your sides. Flex your feet. Bring your legs hips distance apart. Point your toes up towards the ceiling, keeping the feet flexed. Imagine there is a floor underneath the bottom of your feet as you're laying down. Visualize that you are standing up in this position. From here, raise your arms up above your head, keeping them on the floor. Just lift them so your hands are near your head. Hold onto your hands, stretching your entire body, reaching the arms away from your feet so they're in the opposite direction. You can release your hands now, bringing your hands about shoulders distance apart, palms facing each other. Spread your hands wide, spread your fingers wide, energy in your fingertips. Reach in opposing directions from your hands and your feet, so your hands are reaching one way, your feet are reaching in the opposite direction. And continue to visualize that you're standing in this position. Bend your right leg, hugging the shin in towards the chest, holding onto your right shin with both of your hands. Keep both of your feet flexed. Hold here and breathe. Straighten the leg up towards the ceiling any amount that you can. It's okay if the knee is still bent. Hold on behind the hamstrings with both hands, flexing your right foot. Hold here, feeling a stretch in the glutes and the hamstrings on the right side. Release your right leg down and switch sides. Bend the left leg in, holding onto the shin with both hands, flexing your feet. Straighten the left leg up any amount that you can, holding onto the hamstrings with your hands. Keep the foot flexed and hold here. And release, hugging the legs in towards the chest, holding on to both shins. You can give yourself a hug here or hold on to the shins with your hands. Whatever is more comfortable, keep the feet flexed and hold. Release your hands from your legs, roll to the right side of your body and make your way up 
to downward facing dog. Coming into an upside down V shape, your, your feet are hips distance apart, your hands are shoulders distance apart, hips are up and back. Press your heels down in the direction of the ground. They do not have to touch the floor as mine aren't as well, just as long as they're going in that direction. Allow your head to hang over and relax completely, relaxing the neck muscles. Hold here. And release your knees down, touch your big toes together behind you. Separate your knees slightly apart and sit your hips onto your heels. Relax your forehead down onto the floor, stretching your arms out in front of you in child's pose. Hold here and breathe. Come up out of your child's pose, bring your shins parallel to one another. Tuck your toes, straighten your legs, lifting your hips up and back once again into downward facing dog. Your upside down V shape and hold here. Take the right leg and step it forward in between your hands. If you need to lift your torso up to step the leg forward, that's totally fine as well. Once your legs are settled, keep the left heel raised off the ground, lunging forward into the right leg and reach the right, reach both arms up towards the ceiling, palms facing each other, energy in both of your legs and hold here in your high lunge. Step the left foot forward to meet the right foot, and then step the right foot back into high lunge on the left. Same position, just on the opposite side, lunging forward into the left leg. The right heel is raised. The right leg is straight. Keep your arms raised up, palms facing each other. Legs are active. Hold here. Place your hands down to frame the left foot. Step the left leg back into downward facing dog once again. Hold for a breath and then set the knees down and come to a seated position on the ground. Bring your feet to meet each other, knees out to the side. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, forward fold. Bring your elbows to your knees if you would like a deeper hip stretch. As you're folding forward, you can press the knees down towards the floor if you would like this deeper hip stretch. Wherever you are, hold here in your bound angle pose and breathe. Slowly come up out of your forward fold, come to lying on your back, hug the legs in towards the chest once again, bending both of your legs, holding onto the shins, breathing deeply, softening the hip sockets, keeping the feet flexed. And when you're ready, release your legs out onto the ground, straightening both legs. Separate the legs apart, relax your feet. Place your hands down by your sides, turn the palms up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes, deepen your breath. Breathing in and out through the nose, focus your attention as much as you can on your inhales and your exhales, being kind to yourself 
and drawing your attention back to your breath as often as needed. Add some slow and gentle motion back into your limbs, your hands and your feet, your arms and your legs. When you're ready, bend both of your legs, roll to the right side of your body, resting there with your arm under your head for support. Come up to a seated cross-legged position using your hands to help you. Flex your feet under your knees, sit up tall, bring your hands to your legs, close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and out through your nose. And bring your hands to meet at the center of your chest, bow your head to your fingertips, namaste. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this class. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up. Leave me a comment letting me know how it went for you. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for free weekly yoga videos for me. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you next time.